Okay, so today we'll be evaluating a very tricky integral. I got this question from Flammable Maths, and here is how I attempted to do this. I promise you, this is a very fun integral, and it will end up being very nice. The first thing we have to address is this ugly fraction here. Dividing by cotangent is the same as multiplying by tangent because of this because of this reasoning. Cotangent equals cosine over sine. Right? Well some input x. Let's see. Right? But when you divide by fraction, say two over three, that's the same as multiplying by the reciprocal. In that example three over two. In this example, sine over cosine, which is just tangent of the input, which in this case is 2x. So that's the first step. This equals the integral of. Now let's look at the top. Tangent of 2x is a common factor because we're also multi because we've just established that this is the same as multiplying by tangent of 2x. So we can factor it out. And I'll do so right now. Tan of 2x times cosine to the fourth power 2x minus sine to the fourth power 2x all over the exponential function of 2 times tangent x cosine 4x square root of 1 minus secant squared x See, and then all of this times secant squared x dx. Oh, 2x, sorry, that's a 2x. Okay, now, what's the next step? Simplifying this. This cosine 2x minus sine to the fourth power of 2x, that can be simplified, and I'll show you how to do it. Now, let's just establish something. 2 times 2 equals 4. And this, we want to make this a difference of two squares, because that we can write out in a nice way. So, knowing that we want this to make a difference of two squares, and that two times two is four, we can actually make this a two, difference of two squares. And I think you can see where I'm going with this. This is equal, so let me just make a note, cosine squared of x squared equals cosine to the fourth power right because you can just multiply the powers so in fact this is a difference of two squares because that's sine to the fourth power squared and etc etc so overall this leaves us with this is equal to cosine squared 2x minus sine squared 2x times cosine squared 2x plus sine squared 2x and this most famous identity and trigonometry this equals 1 we can get rid of it which is very nice because this simplifies nicely already but it's, it gets better this does that look familiar the answer is yes because it's the double angle formula for cosine nearly we know cosine of 2 alpha, because that's Greek letter and it's fancy, <laughs> equals cosine squared alpha minus sine, oh, squared, sorry, alpha. But that's 2x, that's just 1 what, x or alpha, whatever. How can we make these inputs to alpha, not just alpha? Well, if we double this, that means the input is doubled. This becomes two, two, four. So overall, what I'm trying to say is, this is equal to cosine of four x. So this is very nice. This is as nice as it gets, really. If this equals cosine four x, which it does, then we see that on the denominator as well. Boom, boom, that cancels. Already this is very nice, but it gets better.
integral tangent 2x over the exponential function of 2 times tangent x times the square root of 1 minus secant squared 2x that's going to be important secant squared x dx what's the next step should we do a use up not quite yet because we can simplify this even further and this is how let's just you might already know this identity but i'm going to show you using the most famous one of them all how we can extract the secant squared x from it so one equals sine squared x plus cosine squared x that's just true but how are we going to extract the secant squared x what's the definition of secant squared x one over cosine squared x so let's divide both sides by cosine squared x cosine squared x cosine squared x cosine squared Thus leaving us with secant squared x equals. What's that? That's just the definition of tangent squared x. And then that's just 1 because they will just cancel each other out. Plus 1. Nice. That's nice. So we're really close to extracting the secant squared x we've got the secant squared we've got the one but how do we get this expression simple algebraic manipulation subtract secant squared from both sides and subtract tangent squared from both sides thus leaving us with negative tangent squared x being equal to one minus secant squared x and this is nice because that's exactly what we've got here, except that input is 2x, but we can make this input 2x, doesn't really matter. So, using this piece of information, we can sub that in to our integral. Okay, just to save space, I'll write it in here. Negative tangent squared x. Okay, now... This equals the integral of, okay, we'll write out the fraction preemptively. What's this? That's kind of giving us some trouble, so we'll get rid of it. Square root of a negative is, square root of negative x equals i times the square root positive x, right? Well, we can just use this for the tangent squared x. This equals i times the square root of tangent squared x which is just i times tangent x. So, because we've got an i on the bottom, we can bring it out to the top. I mean, not to the top, out to the outside of the integral. But 1 over i, we can make this even better. 1 over i... 1 over i equals... If you multiply top and bottom by i, you get i over i squared, which is i over negative 1, which is negative i. I hope you see where that comes from. We just multiply the top and bottom by i. So, in fact, this is negative i. And then, and then let's do some stuff in our head. We've already established, we've brought the i to the outside. Square root of tangent squared is just tangent of, not x, 2x. Square root of tangent of 2x, tangent squared of 2x, it's just tangent 2x, but we've got that on the top as well. So that and that will cancel, providing we've got the i at the front, okay? Don't forget the i. So, because we're multiplying this whole thing by secant, we can bring that to the top, thus leaving us with secant squared x over the exponential function of 2 tangent x. dx okay now there's i don't i can't see anything else to be simplified so we'll do a quick u sub and we should be done 
But what should we let u equal to? Well, if we have a function, and if we derive it, I mean differentiate, not sorry, differentiate this, and we get another function which is also in the integral, we know for sure that this should be a u sub. In this case, if we differentiate tangent x, we get precisely secant squared x dx. So if we let u equal to tangent x, this will be very helpful. We get du equals to secant squared x dx, which is the top precisely. This thus leaves us with negative i integral times the integral of this is just du over e to the 2u right 2u this is equal to negative i times the integral of e to the negative 2u du because if we look at that, that's 1 over e to the power of positive 2u times du, which you can bring to the top. So that works out. That's perfectly fine. One last step. That's leaving us with. This is a very doable integral. You just do. And then you, do, you, you, you just have to leave this as it is, but divide by the derivative of this with respect to u, which is just negative half, basically. So, negative half. We have a negative here, we have a negative there. This thus leaves us with positive i over 2, because we can bring the half to the outside, times e to po positive e to the negative 2u. And the last step is just sub in our u, this thus leaves us with, sorry, this is a bit illegible, to i over 2 e to the negative 2 tangent x. We're going to write a minus c because it's Christmas and we're rebellious and we're doing maths for fun. Please don't do this on your exam though. Yeah, minus c. As you can see, this was a very tricky integral. This was very fun to do. Uh, we're going to do a series on topology. Again, shout out to Flamble Maths. He's the one who first did this integral. I got actually a paper, I did it, and it's a very nice answer. Uh, this has been Gregorius Maths. Merry Christmas, and I'll see you in the next video where I'm going to do topology. Goodbye.